Hey guys, it's Bub here, and this video we're taking a look at Revert 8 Plus, which is a custom Windows modification that will allow you to revert Windows 8, 10, or 11 back to Windows 7 or Windows Vista. That is a lot right there. You're claiming to convert three operating systems into one of two. That's a lot. And that is most certainly reflected in this file size being a 1.25 gigabyte EXE named R8P. I don't think I've ever seen an EXE this large, especially for Windows customization. So I'm very eager to take a look at this and see what's what this actually looks like. I'm going to try to go for the Windows Vista theme over the Windows 7 theme because we've taken a look at quite a lot of Windows 7 themed builds in this re on this channel recently. So that's kind of why I'm going for the Windows Vista theme here. So let's go ahead and run this application and hope we don't get a virus. Luckily it's a virtual machine if it does. Um, and as it has claimed, it runs on three different OS's. And just so everyone is aware, this is the latest build of Windows 11 Pro, the 23H2 latest build right here. I'm really eager to see what happens. And as of right now, nothing is really happening after I ran the application. I didn't get admin prompted. I didn't get anything. Um, it is, my cursor is spinning. Uh, I bet Windows Defender is probably like, what is going on? Because even when I downloaded it, I got an error from Windows Smart Screen that I had to allow it. But I'm really a little confused what's going on here. It's not actually doing anything. And it appears Windows has kind of crashed, or the desktop has crashed. So, you know, I'm not feeling too uh, good about this. There we go. R8P.exe. Uh, let's, there we go. It only took a while, and that's my second attempt to open it and it went away. Okay, cool, there we go. So that was a little nerve-wracking. It only opened, it took a while. Okay, test build 481. I really wanted the Windows Vista theme, but I guess only Windows 7 is included. That's a little disappointing. I click next, here we go, let's see. So I want, I'll, let's use Chrome. Uh, favorites and libraries, yep. And let's try that. I'm a little disappointed that the login screen, that we can't get the Windows 7 login screen, which is disappointing, but I guess it's not compatible with Windows 11. Uh, login screen and boot screen are in beta and may cause issues. Installing this on your primary computer, not primary, is not recommended. Yes, we are going to continue, and now it is going to install or transform Windows. And it is already transforming our machine. We have a new taskbar, but okay, I'm gonna step back. I'm gonna let this happen, and we'll be back after a restart and after everything is all good to go. All right, and here we are. So it's asking us to restart our computer, and I know I said that when I came back we were gonna already have restarted, but I wanted to restart again on camera just to show you that boot up screen. I haven't seen it yet. I'm very eager to take a look at it, uh, but I wanna see if it was actually able to apply the Windows 7 boot up screen here, and it, Okay, so it's literally just a picture instead of the Windows logo, and then it just puts the spinning wheel on top of it. Okay, that's a little disappointing, I'm not going to lie, that, that kind of sucks, but I mean, I, I guess you can't, but I've seen other OS's, like the one we took a look at last week, Reloaded 7, it actually had the Windows 7 animation on boot up which is crazy because even this can't achieve that. So it's taking quite a long time to log in. I don't know why. It make me a little nervous here because it should not take this long to log in. And here we are inside of Revert 8 Plus. And all I gotta say is just straight off the bat, oh wait, no, it is still going. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this, uh, you know, do its thing before we come back. All right, and that uh, Windhawk has gone away. It appears like we are here in the desktop ready to take a look. Uh, first thing first, just first impressions. I can tell this is nowhere as good as what we took a look at last week, Reloaded 7. Um, I'm aware that has there, there has been some drama with the developers, but as I've said before, I am not involved in that drama, nor do I endorse the behavior of the developers. I am more focused on the actual user experience and the look of the operating system over any of that. And just, it looked, first impressions much better but let's give this one a chance here so on the desktop we have our recycle bin which still has the same exact recycle bin logo wasn't changed back to the windows 7 one we have microsoft edge which just opened a regular 
We have Windows Media Center, which I'm hoping is the real deal. The whole Windows, there we go. So it is, it's just the, this is the full deal. Okay, cool. And then Super Minium, or Super Mium, whatever it's called. Super Mium, probably, because Chromium. Super Mium. Okay, whatever. I'm just not going to even try pronouncing that. Uh, it is supposedly, I, I know we selected to install this. I mean, we could have chose not to, but it's another version of Chromium. Down here on the system tray, we are missing our show desktop button, which, you know, I'm actually not surprised about because the show desktop button disappeared on latest versions of Windows 11, which, you know, is really stupid, but there's a way to bring it back. I just don't know how to bring it back. We then have our clock. We have OneDrive. Okay, go away, OneDrive. We don't want you here. Go ahead. Okay. We have Network, which typical Windows 11. Volume, which I would assume brings up typical Windows 11, but it's not working. Um, Microsoft Edge, Windows Store, and then the File Explorer, which actually, okay, wow. No rounded corners. This looks really screwed up. The window border is just a—it's just like squared off. These don't look right. Uh, I'm, I'm honestly very uh, disappointed in this. Uh, I really am. I thought someone recommended Revert 8 Plus to me in the comments, and I really thought that it would be good, but I'm not too impressed right now. In the Start menu, I mean, all the icons are still typical Windows 7, or Windows 11, rather, not Windows 7. Wow. Uh, like, the calculator is still, if it would even launch properly which it appears like it is not. Um, it's a typical Windows 11 calculator. Going to all programs. Let's see, they changed that logo, didn't change that one. Eight gadget packs, so we do have gadgets. We'll look at that in a minute. Um, accessibility, accessories, apps. Apps are like the typical modern Windows 11 apps. Games, at, le oh, at least it comes with games. Uh, even Purple Place, my favorite. At least it comes with games, because the other ones, the, that's really all it has at this point. Uh, let's see, PowerShell, Windows System, and Windows Tools. So that's about it on this front. And the whole thing is just, like, really slow. I'm noticing that. Like, it's glitchy, it's buggy, and it's slow, which is very disappointing, honestly. Um, there's just look how long it takes to load. And it's not like this OS doesn't have... Or this virtual machine rather doesn't have the specs to run this because oh my god that looks terrible wow why is that error like that uh, this VM has 8 gigs of RAM and a Core i7 10700K uh, let's just put a clock there oh it's a sidebar okay whatever that's stupid uh, we can drag them to the desktop apparently there we go just like that okay that this is whatever I'm not even going to comment on that um, so let's look at the specs that this is actually using. So our CPU is idling 15, 6, 4, 3. It's idling, you know, what Windows should be idling at a little bit. 3 gigs of RAM out of 8 gigs. So not good, but not bad. It's using definitely more than usual. And here are the processes that it's running, if you really care, just to show you. And in Startup, Desktop Gadgets, and Windows Media Center uh, are the two that are added. And of course, I mean, I'm going to be very disappointed if Winver hasn't been updated. And it hasn't. It still shows as Windows 11 23H2. So that being said, this was the very disappointing Win Revert 8 Plus. I'm honestly disappointed. No hate to the developer, though, because I have no doubt that this is very hard to create. So something like this with all the restrictions of Windows 11 today. Um, but I, I, I just... I've seen others that have done better than this. Again, no hate to the developer. Like I said, I'm sure this was really hard to create, but you know, I'm sure, and it's still in beta too. So I'm sure that as this goes on, we'll see more and more changes to make this better. So that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe for new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. That being said, I'll see you all in the next one.